invite you to enjoy life. Life with Luigi, a new comedy show created by Cy Howard and starring that celebrated actor, Mr. J. Carol Nash with Alan Reed as Pasquale. When Luigi Vasco left Italy to start his new life in America, he promised his mother that he would write and tell her about his adventures. So well, now let's read Luigi's letter as he writes to Mama Vasco in Italy. Dear Mamma Mia, America is a land with a very high standard of a living. Everybody is saving the money. So he can buy a refrigerator, a washing machine, a dishwasher, and a vacuum cleaner. Seems like everybody here has got these things. People who can afford it, they buy. People who can no afford it, they go on a quiz program. <laughs> Another big American thing. Everybody has got a car. They got all kinds of here. There's the sedans, the trailers, the trucks. And America's are so rich that they even got a car for chicken. That's called a coop. <laughs> a car is a wonderful thing. You remember, Mama Mia, in the old country during the war, how American boy is it taking me for driving as a car? Well, it wasn't exactly a car. It was something like a cement mixer. <laughs> and he's call it a jeep. <laughs> Mama Mia, how that car is a shake. Remember once to how we go for a ride? Me and Uncle Pietro and his goat. And when we come back, I'm losing my watch. <laughs> Uncle Pietro is losing his teeth. <laughs> and the goat is refused to give a milk for three days. <laughs> Since that time, I'm always the one to own my own car. And after one year, I'm going to save $100. And now I'm going to make my dream come true. Of course, with a hundred dollars, I'm not going to afford the new 1949 car. I'm going to have to be satisfied with a 48. <laughs> but right now is the time for my night school class, so I'm going to go and ask my teacher, Miss Spaulding, for advice about the buying a car. <laughs> All right, class, all right, let's come to attention. I'll call the roll. Mr. Basco? Present. Mr. Howard? Present. Mr. Olson? Present. Mr. Schultz? Absent. <laughs> Mr. Schultz, you're present. Why do you say absent? I just want to create a sensation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, fellow boobers. Thank you. All right, Mr. Schultz, you can stop bowing. Now, class, our lesson... Oh, yes, Mr. Basco, what is it? Well, Miss Spaulding, today's a big day in my life. And I'm like so much if the classes are helping me. Well, certainly, Mr. Basco. What is it? Well, today I'm going to buy my own car. A car? A... Oh, no, it is a big shot. A big shot is an explosion. Class, <laughs> <laughs> please. Mr. Basco, why don't you wait until after the bell? I'm sure one of your classmates can help you in the selection of a car. Now, class, our lesson for today is spelling. And we are going to study words which contain letters that we don't pronounce. Now, Mr. Basco, will you volunteer to spell the word knife? Knife. K-N-I-F. D is a silent. <laughs> Not exactly. Mr. Schultz, will you try? I try, but I don't give a guarantee. <laughs> knife. B. Just a moment, Mr. Schultz. <laughs> there is no B in knife. This is a Boy Scout knife. <laughs> Class, I will spell the word. K-N-I-F-E. K-N-I-F-E. That's Kniffy. <laughs> no, the word is nice. K is the silent letter. K is always silent in front of N. Is that so? What about Knockbook? <laughs> Please. Now, will someone in the class give us an example of another word with a silent letter? Oh, yes, Mr. Olson? Yeah. <clears throat> in the sentence, I gnash my teeth. Nash is spelled G-N-A-S-H, and the G is silent preceding the N. <laughs> oh, what a show-off. If I were so smart, I'd shoot myself. 
Please, Mr. Schultz. Please, that was excellent, Mr. Olson. Excuse me, Miss Pauling. I'm always know that the Nash has a silent motor, but uh, this is silent the G is in the 49 model too. <laughs> now that's the kind of fellow I like. That's a dumbbell. <laughs> No, no, Mr. Basco. I can see you can't get your mind off cars. Now, can anyone here tell Mr. Basco where to get a car? Luigi. Uh, how about Louis the lunatic? That's right, Luigi. You go right down to Automobile Row on Dearborn Street. Dearborn Street? Yeah, yeah, but you've got to be careful with these dealers, you know. They are all sharpshooters. On account of them, my brother Ludwig got the best buy in his life. In three years, he's never had a flat, never had to change a spark plug, never uses any oil, no trouble at all. What is he buy? A horse and wagon. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Schultz, I'm getting a little tired of your... Oh, oh that's right. Right. Oh, sometimes they act like a lot of little school children. Cannot voice. <laughs> Excuse me, mister. I'm like to buy a car here. Yes, sir. You've picked the right lot. I got just what you want. 2300 2700 3500 Anything you like, drive it right out. How much do you want to spend? $100. Oh, <laughs> well, come on over here around the back. We might find something for you. All right. Ah, now, there we are. Here is a fine selection of cars around the $100 class. Ah, nice, eh? It looks just like a museum. <laughs> Yeah. Well, now, let's see. Just what kind of a car do you have in mind? How, how about a convertible, eh? Do you like to drive with the top down? No, I'm always a wear a hat. Uh, well, uh, how about this car here? Do you like it? It's an old. No, that's a too old. <laughs> hey, mister, did you ever drive a car before? Well, a long time ago in the older country. Oh, I you see. You see, I'm not too long from Italy. I see. Well, now, buddy, I got just the car for you. <laughs> yes, sir, here it is, a stud. Hardly been used in the last 32 years. <laughs> well, look at the dashboard. Only 5,000 miles. And I'm the original guy who pushed back the speedometer. <laughs> is it good, huh? Oh, it's sensational. Not like any ordinary car, you know. This car is different. No windshield, no bumpers, no radio, no heater, no spare tire, no fuel pump, no radiator. Just a good, honest set of used parts. Uh-huh. <laughs> now... I'm not so sure that you've got the money. If you've got it, put up or shut up. That's the American way. Well, sure, sure. I got the money here. Well, that's the ticket. One hundred old dollar bills. We've been waiting for you. Here's the bill of sale. Sign right here. You got a driver's license? No, but I can drive. Okay, then drive right down to City Hall. Get a learner's permit. Hop in. That's right. We stand behind every car we sell. Only way we can push them off the lot. Get set. Goodbye. All right. <laughs> Goodbye. Mamma mia, we're going to pass. Three, four, or five or miles an hour. <laughs> hey, Mr. Felderman, look at me. Hello, Mrs. Pellegrino. Hey, Luigi, you got a car. Hey, look at Luigi. He's a millionaire. <laughs> What you do, Luigi? Rob a bank? No, I'm a saving my money to buy a car like a real American. Hey, Mr. Indrasano, it's me, Luigi. Luigi? What a capitalist! <laughs> hey, Pasquale, come out. Come on out, Pasquale. Luigi, my friend. Hello, Luigi. Hello, hello. <laughs> Well, Pasquale, take a look. What do you think? What's happening, Luigi? You got a job in the circus? <laughs> what are you talking about, Pasquale? How about just to buy myself a car? What does it look like? How many guesses do you give me? Are uh, you just saying that because I didn't need any helper from you? No helper from me, eh? Hey, Luigi, why are you putting those two blocks under the front wheel? That's a new invention, emergency brick. <laughs> Pasquale, I know it's not the best car, but at least it's all the mine. 
Now I can drive down the street and everybody is to say, Look, Luigi. He's a look like a real American. Yeah, and this a car, you look like a real American. A Buffalo Bill. <laughs> uh, tell me something, Luigi. You got auto insurance? Auto insurance? What's that? Well, it's like a life insurance. Oh. Only you don't get paid until the car dies. <laughs> Looking under your car, I'm thinking somebody's already collected. <laughs> Then, I, then I'm an on the insurance. Oh, but there's insurance you've got to have that's much more important. That's for accidents. There's a single indemnity, that's if you hit a one a person. Then there's a double indemnity, that's if you hit a twin. <laughs> but Pasquale, I'm not going to hit anybody. What are you talking about? you got a car? Use it. <laughs> but Pasquale, I'm just spending all of my money on my car. I'm not going to afford this insurance. Luigi, that's a bad. Bad? Terrible. Tell me, little man, you got an operator's license? For a Pasquale, what for? I'm need operator license. I'm not going to work for a phone company. <laughs> I can show how stupid you are. Operator license is a mean when you hit somebody, you got a license to operate on them right away. <laughs> and you ain't got that either. Oh, Pasquale, all I'm got is a learner's permit and a book of rules to study. What am I going to do? I should never have bought a car without asking you advice first. Now, that's the first the smarter thing I've heard since we started talking. <laughs> Luigi, when I'm going to see you look so sad, my heart is a melt like a parmesan and a cheese and a hot of spaghetti. <laughs> you know what I'm going to do for you? What, the Pasquale? I'm going to pay for you auto insurance. I'm going to see to it, you get your operator license, your driver license, oh. and instead of this old jalopy, I'm going to buy you a brand new car. Pasquale, you're going to do all of this for me. But why? Because I'm in love with you, you little pumpkin of hair. <laughs> with eyes are like a two pumpkin seeds and a nose are haggardy like a banana. <laughs> oh, stop it, Pasquale. You're making me blush in the street. And now that I'm going to do you a little favor... Maybe you'd do me a little favor. <laughs> favor? What the favor you want I should do for you? Well, a while are you down at City Hall are getting your driver's a license and your operator's a license, maybe you go to the next window and get a one or more license. Well, sure, Pasquale. What the kind of license you want I should get? Marriage license for my daughter, Rosa. <laughs> no, Pasquale, I'm not going to marry Rosa. She's a too fat for me. Luigi, it's a no fat to call a girl a fat just because she's happened to weigh 240 pounds. 250. <laughs> what do you say? I say 250. I say 240. She's a no have a supper yet. <laughs> hey, Luigi, do me a favor. Just to marry Rosa for a little while. You'd be surprised how my little flower she's going to grow out of you. Pasquale, I'm a no flower pastor. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you big stupid. And now I'm going to tell you something. They're never going to give you a driver license with that old wreck you bought. No? No, you're lucky if you stay out of jail. Jail? Sure. When you start driving through the streets like a crazy man, chasing the people down the cellars and up the roofs and running for their lives... You know what it's going to say in a newspaper headline? What? Chicago's a hit to buy a new Adam bomb. <laughs> Mamma mia, I'm just start out to buy a car, and now I'm lucky if America doesn't declare a war on me. Now for the second act of Luigi Basco's adventures in Chicago, we turn to page two of his letter to his mother in Italy. So, Mamma Mia, although I'm realizing my big ambition to own a car like a real American, I'm afraid it's going to bring me a lot of trouble. Pasquale is to say my car is a look so terrible, I'm never going to get driver's license, so I'm going to try to fix it up. I'm a shine up with the car nice and a clean with the two cans of his shoe polish. <laughs> also, I'm a put a wall of paper on the inside. <laughs> and to make it a car look more expensive, I'm a paint a spare tire on the back. <laughs> but still, I'm having a lot of trouble with a car. Three times a day, the street cleaning department has tried to take it away. <laughs> 
biggest trouble I'm having is reading the ruler books and trying to learn the traffic of roads for my driving test. Mamma mia, what's the rule? Put a hand out the for left to turn, a hand out the for right to turn, hand out the for a stop, a hand out the for a go. Mamma mia, this is a book must be for a man with a four hand. <laughs> so I'm sitting here studying when it suddenly has opened up for my door. Luigi, my friend, I was just passing by and I had to stop in. I just saw your car outside and I congratulate you on making such a wonderful deal. Oh, I thank you, you sure. <laughs> How much did the man pay you for taking it off his lap? <laughs> Please, I'm paying a man of one hundred dollars for this car. One hundred dollars? So, do you think I was stuck? Stuck? Luigi, you was harpooned. <laughs> With a car like that, I got only one piece of advice for you. What's that? Keep moving, because if you ever stop, people will think you are in an accident. <laughs> well, I got to go now. Goodbye, Luigi. Goodbye, sure. Oh, Luigi, she up. Smile. Nothing in this world is worth crying about. For a short time, I'm spending my life down on the bed of the car, and I'm going to go today for a drive and a test. I'm not going to understand the rules, and all that's left for me is to marry Pasquale's daughter, Rosa. If you was in my place, what would you do? Himmel, would I let out a scream? <laughs> Well, Luigi, I really got to go now. Now, come on, Luigi, be like me, always happy. Smile, smile. <laughs> My rheumatism is killing me. <laughs> yeah. Mamma me, another hour I got to take my driving a test. Well, I better look in this traffic ruler book and study some more rules. To make a left hand turn, turn into the lane to the right of the center, turning into the roadway. <laughs> but to do not turn. <laughs> Mama me, I'm a think I'm a gonna lost at the last to turn. <laughs> well, I read it some more. To make a left into Hello, Luigi, my little friend and my countryman, what's the new with you? Huh? Squally, Auntie, you mad at me no more? Me? I'm mad at you? Why, Luigi, shame on you. You should have known me better than that. You know, there's a two sides to my face. If one side is a mad out of you, the other side is a glad out of you. You know that. You're so right, the Pasquale. That's why everybody is calling you two face. <laughs> That's the funny thing. When I'm saying it, it come out different. <laughs> Hey, Luigi, what's that the pamphlet you're reading? Call it, Pasquale. I gotta go for driver's test in an hour, and I'm studying the rules so I should have passed. Luigi, I'm gonna help you out. Nobody's to know more about a driver's test than me. I'm gonna take it a ten times. <laughs> <laughs> then maybe you can tell me, Pasquale. All through this book is this word. Vecca. V-E-H-I-C-A-E. Ooh, Luigi, you lucky you got me to explain to you. That's a vehicle. That's a mean a car what's a drunk. That's, a, that's a what they call the auto intoxication. Here's the lots I can teach you. Now, see you drive in a car, you hit a man inside his home. What's this to call? What? Home in the side. <laughs> The punishment is to go for that. The very big. They stamp on your license. You must wear glasses. <laughs> oh, Pasquale, thank you. Maybe now I have a chance to pass. Tell me, what do you mean by zones? That's a simple. Driving a car is like a game. It's a three kind of zones. T zone, free zone, and an end zone. <laughs> if you hit a man in the T zone... He's not going to smoke no more. <laughs> and if you hit him in the end of zone, they push your car back five yards. <laughs> What's the free zone? That's the meaning you can park for nothing. <laughs> Now, take the traffic lights. Is the green light that's for go? Is the red light that's for stop? What's the yellow light for? That's for women to drive. They can do whatever they want. (laughs) 
Oh, Pasquale, thanks so much for your help. Don't mention it. Luigi, you just give these answers like I'm going to tell you, and you're going to be fixed up for good. <laughs> Pardon me, mister. You've been waiting here for two hours. What are you waiting for? Well, you've been calling for people who's a want the applicant. I'm waiting till you call the people who's a want the driver's license. Oh, I see. Well, take your learned permit to booth seven over there, and the inspector will give you your test. Thank you very much. Booth seven. Oh, there it is. Mamma mia, how am I going to drive my car in that little boat? <laughs> Oh, excuse me, mister. Yeah, have a seat. You got your car outside? Yes. All right, now I'll ask you a few routine questions. First, uh, explain your hand signal. Sure. To make a signal, you got to stick out to your left hand. First, you got to let the window down. <laughs> left hand is to single right to turn, left to turn, and a pass. That's with the palm down. The palm down? When do you stick your hand out with the palm up? Only when you want to see if it's a rain. <laughs> Are you sure you can drive a car? Sure, I'm sure. Well, let's go on outside for the road test. All right. Ah, oh, there. There's my car. Over there. Is that your car? Uh-huh. I think we have a law covering that. <laughs> Let me look in my book under the seas. Condemned. <laughs> they must have overlooked this model. Well, let's get in. Uh, does this car always sag like this? Oh, no. Only when a people is a sit in it. Okay, start it up. Choke it, choke it. Choke it to where am I going to grab it? <laughs> Pull the choke out there. Oh. <laughs> All right, it's out. Now, where should I put it? <laughs> oh, brother. Step on the gas. The cars are gone. You see, it's the work. If it's too windy for you, I'm stopping to put in the windshield. <laughs> Never mind. This is like going through D-Day again. <laughs> Yeah, all right, there's a sign. It says no U-turn. What does that mean? Well, that's the simple. It says no U-turn. That's to mean it's my turn. <laughs> look. Look, there's a stop sign. You want I should have stopped? I dare you. <laughs> of course, stop. Stop right on the corner of First Street. All right. <laughs> I said First Street, not Second Street. <laughs> well, I was a close. <laughs> Is it not so good, huh? Well, they're watching me on a signal. Hey, didn't you see that car behind you? Where's your rear vision mirror? What the fuck I need the rear mirror? If I'm going to want to see who's behind me, I'm going to look back like a thing. Hey, look out! Look out! Look out! Mamma mia, the car is a stop, but the inspector is to keep on a going. <laughs> All right, Mr. Basco, the test is over. You ride back, I'll walk. <laughs> but the why? I'd be happy to drive you back into my car. What are you, a sadist? <laughs> it's a nice day, the sun is shining, I got a wife and four kids. I'll walk. Well, all right, so you walk. I'm a driver. When you get there, wait for me. <laughs> Too bad, and he was doing so well. <laughs> Luigi, my friend. Hello, Lu. Luigi, what are you doing with that steering wheel in your hand? Pasquale, 
I'm a just the type of my driver's attention. Luigi, look at you. Hair is all a must up, the clothes are dirty and a torn, a face all a banged up, you walking with a limp. You don't look like a driver, you look like a pedestrian. <laughs> What's happened? He's all a mixed up. All I know is that when I was driving back to the licensing bureau myself, a car is a come after me. I'm a signal for a stop. I'm a put out the boat to my hands, but it's a big crash. <laughs> oh, Luigi. It is all my fault. I put my left hand out of the left window. But to my right hand, it wasn't long enough to reach the other window. <laughs> Neither you get or you drive as a license. But, Swally, not only am I not to get my license, but they take away my learner's permit. They say I'm a no-can drive for at least the one a year. And I'm not allowed to walk in the streets for two days. <laughs> Luigi, Luigi, how could a one man get himself into so much of trouble? Believe me, Pasquale, it's not easy. <laughs> what am I going to do? man who's car I'm ahead is to say he's going to sue me for everything I'm got. Worse than that, Luigi. Man has probably got a 20 years of life in assurance. That means he can get you 20 years of the life. <laughs> Mama mia, Pasquale, save me, please. Luigi, don't beg. I'm going to help you out of everything. I'm even going to buy you a new car so you still can be proud and like an American. Just to do me one favor. <laughs> All right, Pasquale. I'll marry your daughter. Well, say it like you mean it. Go ahead. She's awake. Now call her yourself. All right. Rosa. <laughs> Rosa. Put some feeling in it. Rosa. Yes, my little angel, you lovers are calling you himself. Rosa, say hello to Luigi. Oh. Oh, hello, Luigi. Hello, Rosa. Rosa, poor little Luigi was just in a terrible auto accident. What do you say to him? <laughs> Luigi, you want a band aid? Oh, shut up your face! <laughs> Well, my children, I'm going to give you my blessing, and we're going to tell everybody... Oh, Mr. Basso, I'm so glad I found you in. Mama mia, that's the matter. Who's the car I'm going to hit? I'm going to fix everything, mister. Oh, are you his attorney? Well, look, I admit everything. It was all my fault. I'm I'm willing to make amends. But uh, I had no right to be driving that car. I had no driver's license, no permit, nothing. But, uh, This has taught me a terrible lesson. Mr. Basco, I'm prepared to pay for my mistake. Could you promise not to press suit? I'm not to press suit. Oh, Oh, thank you. I'm always a senator Taylor. <laughs> but no. now, Mr. Basco, let's settle this whole thing right here. I'm willing to pay you whatever that car is worth, say, uh, uh, five hundred dollars. Oh, uh, no. A thousand dollars? No, no, no. Okay, you got me against the wall. How much do you want for the car? One hundred dollars. <laughs> A hundred dollars? Well, here, take it, and thank you very much. Wait, and so fast, this is something else. What's the matter? Were you hurt? I got a hole in my pencil from the accident. It's going to cost you 40 cents for the pack. <laughs> here, and thank you. And good night. But, uh... Well, the Pasquale, thank you for teaching me about the traffic rules. Your assistant. But, uh, Luigi, what a fall you sticking out of your hand now? I'm making a right to turn the back to my store. But what about a rose, a butt to Luigi? Good to buy a butt. Be sure to listen next week at this time over most of these stations when Luigi Basco writes another letter to his mama Basco describing his adventures in America. Life with Luigi is a Cy Howard production that is written by Mac Benoff and Lou Demon and directed by Mac Benoff. J. Carol Nash has starred as Luigi Basco with Alan Reed as the swallow. Aunt Connery the Schultz and Mary Ship as Miss Falder. Music is under the direction of Lynn Murray. Bob Stevenson speaking. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System. <laughs>